<laughs> All right, we got we got Mr. Mendoza here from Sunnyside School District in our our Gallego blog class. So you guys can go ahead and open up questions for him. How long have you been teaching? I uh, on contract or in a school? Because there's two different answers. Like, like what do you mean? Like, yeah, on contract. Okay, so on contract, and I'll answer with both of that. So on contract meaning where I'm actually a certified teacher with my degree on contract for 10 years. This will be my 10th, 9th or 10th year. Um, but I did substitute teaching and I had uh, like a juvenile detention, so I would teach there, but I just didn't have a contract like a teacher. So basically I would train my replacement when they would find a certified teacher and then I would just have to find another position. Until I finally finished my degree. Why did you get into teaching? Why? Um, honestly, when I was younger, I did not want to be a teacher at all. Um, but then my freshman English teacher, uh, Mr. Hines, had a big impact on my life. Um, he, he, he showed how much uh, a teacher can really care and actually uh, guide someone to get what they, what they desire in life. And um, looking at his example, that's what I want to do for others. I want, I want to be a part of the students' journeys to help them to get to where they eventually want to be as uh, adults. Um, it's interesting because I'm moving from fourth grade to freshman, and I, I'm going to have former students at that point. And I, I just want to see what the progression is in these last four years. So it's, it'll be interesting to see. If you didn't teach, what would you do? If um, I didn't teach? Yeah. Okay, so I, honestly, um, I've done a lot of other professions other than teaching. Um, so teaching is kind of like my, kind of like my, if you want to call it my second career. So I've done, so I, I work young, so I have to support family young, so I have a lot of different things that I've done. Um, I've done computer tech, I've done um, sales, like car sales, I've done financial services, I've done, um, teaching, substitute teaching, things like that. If I wasn't teaching in the school, I probably would go back to financial services because uh, in that, I got to educate families about how to make and save money, which is still a part of education, but it's but it's that part. Um, I just, at this point in my career, at this point, I love working with kids. Um, but if that's what I would be doing, that's probably what I would be doing. What is your favorite subject to teach? Favorite subject? What, what subject do you ELA. Yeah, like for sure. Um, it's not to say that I don't like the other subjects. Math is very important. Science is fun to do. Um, but I love to teach language arts. Um, I think it's a, kind of a lost art these days with uh, formal writing, reading, and speaking, communicating. Um, there's a place for informal slang talk, typing, and texting, and all that stuff. But you got to know both sides. So I want to teach kids not just that part, but the formal part of it, the part that uh, when you get a job and you have to communicate effectively because if you don't, depending on what kind of job you're in, it, it matters, right? So if you can't communicate, what, one of the biggest things that uh, employers talk about is uh, that they look for in kids or future employees is, is can they communicate? Are they responsible? Because if they can't do that, then they're not going to hire you. So I want to help with that. Where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah. Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. I was born and raised in Tucson, Arizona. Have you moved, have you moved anywhere? Like, Lived um, anywhere else? Like, yeah. No. Um, no. I, I mean, I've traveled other places, but... Yeah. Um, vacation. Yeah, I vacation, but... Um, I love... I, I mean, yeah, it's hot here, but I could cool off in AC, but there's no natural disasters. It's, the city's not huge, where it's like traffic, just jam-packed traffic. I, I really dislike traffic, so I wouldn't go to Phoenix or LA because I, I don't like to wait in traffic. So, I mean, I really like it here. The only way I would move, honestly, is if my daughter uh, moved and wanted me to go with her. Uh, we, would, we would get up and go um, for her because that's what she wants to do. So, I'm for my son, but he, he goes there wherever we go, so he honestly doesn't care. 
Do you like teaching? I love teaching. You do? I do. I do. I love teaching. I love the actual... Here's what I love about teaching a lot. When a kid that struggles finally gets it. And they have that aha moment. Like, you don't see it, but we do. Um, and yeah, I know you guys see a lot of the, the uh, you know, let's say kids that don't want to be in school, right? There's a lot of that. But deep down, everybody has, a, has an urge to learn. Everybody does. It's just maybe they don't see the relevance of it right then and there. And, and when you can pull that out for the kids, that's when it becomes great. Because then at that point, it's like, oh, it's like a magic trick. The light bulb really does go on. You know what I mean? What schools did you attend? You branched from so many schools. What schools did I attend? So um, I went to, I started kindergarten in Mish Manor. Um, then I went to Gallego, but the old Gallego, that's now Rivera. So I, uh, so I was in uh, Gallego. I went to Apollo Middle School, and I'm a graduate of Sunnyside High School, 2003. Um, I attended Pima University of Arizona, but I graduated from Northern Arizona University. Uh, I'm going back to get my master's at the University of Arizona, so I will have that's when you go to ASU, assuming college that you go to. Um, so yeah, so I've been in this district, I lived in this district, um, grew up in this district, and had a lot of impact in this district, and when I came back, I wanted to do the same for the kids that were there as well. Anybody else have any questions? If not, well, you covered a lot there, so. I look forward to most. Yeah, we look forward to the most. Yeah, yeah this I look forward to here. I'm actually gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm a little nervous, because I taught fourth grade for my whole entire career. So I'm going into freshman, um, which is going to be fun. Sunnyside High School. Uh, so I was like, I'm going back home. You know? And uh, it's going to be, I'm, I'm nervous because it's new. Uh, me, but Mr. Morales will be there. So you know, we have something to bounce ideas off of. But it's a new curriculum, new, new students, for sure. But it's going to be fun. I'm so excited about it. I'm excited about a change. I mean, I love teaching sometimes, though. Doing the same thing can get a little can get a little much, right? Yeah. So that little bit of change, it, it's nice. So I'm just excited about that. That's a, that's a huge jump for a family. It is. Kids. And, and everybody looks at me like I'm crazy. Like, that's little kids. But honestly, I've taught, not necessarily in a formal class, former formal classroom, but I have taught kids of all different ages. And actually, you guys have done me a great favor by helping me to get slowly introduced to this, <laughs> this age, because I'm going to teach kids that are going to be about a year older than me. So, um, and, I, and I have a son that's this age too, and I have a daughter who's a junior in high school. So, it's not like I, I'm not familiar with all the, the terms and the lingo and all these things that are being thrown out there because I just asked them, like, oh, oh, that's what it means. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. Is that it? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. All right.